Okay, I'd like to recommend an old book. I'd like to recommend The Custom of the Country by Edith Wharton. Um, it's a fantastic book. It's a story about um, a beautiful young American woman who gets um, through three husbands, um, and this is in 1901, um, leads a scandalous life. It was a book which was loved and reviled by the critics when it was first published, and um, the heroine, Undine Sprague, was described as the most repellent heroine in fiction. Um, the reason I'm recommending it, I know it very well, because I've just been adapting it for radio, and the more you read it and the more you think about it, the more there is to find in it. It's a really, really wonderful read. Of the last year, I was a big fan of the book uh, American Rust by Philip Meyer. And it's uh, about a uh, couple of young men in Pennsylvania in the Rust Belt. It really captures the deterioration of American infrastructure and, and American industry. At the same time, it tells a very compelling story. Beautifully written. Strongly recommended. I'm going to recommend Jane's Fame by Claire Harmon, which is a story of Jane Austen's reputation and how she wanted to make it, and that's for the Jane Austen fanatic in your life, but also for anyone with an interest in why people write things and how writers work on the inside. It's a very lively, funny, clever, incisive, and immensely readable book. Homes for a Changing Climate, which is a book about the history of houses that are built ecologically soundly and some modern ones as well. Um, and they're very, very beautiful. It's the most beautiful book with beautiful, beautiful pictures and a really kind of clever, helpful text. I think it's great. A book I've loved this year is The Bradshaw Variations by Rachel Cusk. It's extremely tender, poignant, witty, and really a devastating portrait of family life. She's a terrific writer, and you will be completely absorbed by this book. Well, I have to say, the, my favourite book this year, and the one I really thought should have been on the booker list, uh, the shortlist, was uh, William Trevor's Love and Summer. It's an absolutely beautiful book. It'll carry you away to an island that doesn't exist any longer, a sort of Trevor Island, if you like. But it's a completely wonderful story. It's written perfectly. There isn't a word wasted. And um, if it doesn't bring you to tears at the end, I'd be surprised.